welcome to Mtoto Africa Puppet Shows. My name is Daniela Naila. I am six years old. Today we are going to be talking about Adam and Eve. Yay. So this is my friend Jill and today we are talking about Adam and Eve. And so Adam and Eve is a story about disobedience. So if you have a Bible, please open Genesis 3 to 13. So this story mm-hmm. is all about disobedience and this story talk I noticed disobedience disobedience is when like when someone tells you to go and pick for them something you start doing something else it's 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 just like ignoring someone why ignoring or not doing it so that's disobedience yeah not it's doing wrong. what you've been told to do yeah oh sounds okay so what's the story about now so this story is about disobedience mm-hmm. so Adam and Eve were told by God not to eat the fruit of knowledge. It was in the middle of the garden of Eden. So Adam and Eve one day she was next to the tree when suddenly a snake came. And this one was a, a, a serpent. The serpent what? had disguised himself as a snake. And, and she gets scared. No, because they did right now. That time they didn't know about snake. They just they just were normal. Oh, normal. so they were just living in the garden and eating all the fruit, but they were told not to eat the middle fruit of the yeah. tree. And, yeah, And I hope they listen. So what did the, did the serpent tell? Uh, he uh, was Eve? telling. She was. He was telling Eve how the fruit was. And then then the, the the time that she, she was he the serpent was saying that if you eat the fruit, you'll become like God. So. What? If if so, how beautiful it was. Then she said, "Oh, it's beautiful. Let me just eat it." Did she eat it? Yeah. <laughs> she ate it. Yes. Wow, it must have been so 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 bitter. No, it, it was, was sweet. <gasps> she must have. She could have listened to it. Then she gave some to Adam. After <gasps> some time, then they noticed they were naked. Wow, because they did something wrong before yes. God. Yes. So they. So they hid in the bushes. Then God came. Mm-hmm. When he had, he sent them away from the garden oh, of Eden. Oh, they were punished. Yeah, they, they were punished. From, the, from the garden. Yeah, if you read the verse, you're going to you're going to see the in the Bible. If you, oh. you're going to see what what it's talking so, about. So when you do it, so you're also going to be punished by God. Yes, you can even be punished. Uh, can our parents can our parents punish us if we disobey? Yeah, they can. Uh, okay, now I understand why my dad punished me. Uh, I'll tell you why after, after, you know what, what punishment did, uh, did Eve and Adam get? They got that the snake will crawl and eat the dust uh-huh. and Eve will have pain in, bo- in boring, in, in, ha- in bone when she's, when she's getting children oh. and even Adam would have pain, he will get pain, he will get pain when he's He's like getting food from the ground. Oh, so, so he's going to be working hard and sweating a lot for, yeah, for food. It will be. <gasps> so there's this day that there's when they were sent mm-hmm. out of the garden. Mm-hmm. They when God got angry. So when he said he had punished them, mm-hmm. that's when that's the time when he punished. And even I mm-hmm. want to tell you children mm-hmm. to listen to your parents when they're telling you to stay in the house. True. And even when they tell you not to watch TV and do your homework True. and do the lessons that you're supposed to do at home. And so many other things are going to be told. Please listen and obey because God is watching. Yes, he's and you know watching. What? And my dad told me not to watch TV and do my homework. And then I ignored. And you said, so I disobeyed. And then he came and beat me and told me, you bad boy. And I was told not to watch TV again for one week. Now I understand. It's because he wants me to be the best and to listen. And God is watching me. And I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask my dad to do I'm going to go to my dad and ask for forgiveness. And I'm going to ask God for God. I was very angry with him. But you know what you told me? That, that you need to obey my parents. And God is going to You're be right, happy. Jill. Yeah, I'm going to do that today. I'm and to I want us sing. to pray, then we oh, can sing a song. You can even pray for me. Yeah. Okay. Let's close our eyes then. Okay, God, lo- thank you, Lord, for this day, Lord of Father. Thank you for guiding us, protecting us, and leading us, Lord. 
protect us, oh Lord of Father. Let us be obedient. Lord of Father, let us not become like Adam and Eve. God of Father, protect us and cherish us, Lord of Father. All the children all over the world, Lord of Father. God of Father, let them always be obedient, Lord of Father. For in Jesus and pray and believe. Amen. So the, I have some, I have, I have some, a song. Then last, let me show you what I have. So I have here my apple. So I'm going to cut it out. Sorry, I'm going to cut it out. Wow, I'm going to do this. I hope the children are going to do that at yeah, all. Yeah, it will not take time. You dress an apple like this. Yeah. And then you ask your parents to already. cut it round. Oh, and can they collect? Yeah. Can they color the apple? Yeah, they can. So, it's not a problem. Even they can paint it up. Wow. So that yeah. reminds me of the story it's of here. Adam and Eve. Yeah, it's an apple. And then I have here Adam. If wow. I wasn't able to cut, because she was hard. It was hard for me to cut. <laughs> I hope the children are going to make theirs and stick in their bedroom. They stick and hang them on the bedroom. It will be... Uh, it will every time when they wake up in the morning, they will mm -hmm. remind they will remind themselves about obedience. Wow, good idea! I'm going to do that so that anytime my parents tell me to do something, I'll be looking at the fruit and remember to be obedient. God loves people obedient. I want to sing for them as well. You have a song? Yeah. Yay! What's the song about? It's about disobedience. <gasps> okay, let's listen to the song then. I'm sitting waiting. So this song is sing let me start singing. Don't be disobedient, for that's the wrong thing to do. Obey your parents, obey those who tell you that it's wrong to obey, it's wrong to disobey, cause that's the wrong thing to do, yeah. Wow, that's a good song. And I if like you have it. a Bible, yeah, please open Exodus twenty to seventeen. Exodus twenty to seventeen. Twenty to seventeen. Exodus chapter what? Twenty to seventeen and Ephesians six to four. Okay. It it even let me just read for you Ephesians because Ephesians is the one that. I, I think it will be easy for me Ephesians to Ephesians chapter 20 verse 17 and, and Ephesians chapter 6 verse 4. I hope you got that children. Yeah, it's here. I found it. So it's saying Children, it's your Christian duty to obey your parents for this is the right thing to do. Respect your father and mother is the, is the first commandment that has a promi promise added so that all may go well and you may live a long time yeah, in me, I want to land. live a long time. Me too. And be blessed. So, so when you obey your parents, you're going to be blessed by God. Yeah, you're going to be blessed by God. I'm going to do that this holiday and this me time. Me too. And I know what, Clemmy? I think the children have learned something. Me too. I hope they're going to tell their parents sorry if they have wronged their parents. And even me, I'm going to do that today. And I'm going to be obedient and make God happy. Let's tell them bye. Okay, let's clap for the ones who are big now. Yay, let's clap for them. Okay, so bye. Bye. Comment them to subscribe to our subscribe channel. Subscribe and comment. So yeah. bye.